Hey y'all, it's your girl Lady J and welcome back to my channel, The Southern Lounge Room, where I bring you commentary and female rap as well as a little bit of urban news tea. So, I just want to apologize in advance for my rusty, crusty, dusty voice. I am fighting a little cold, but bear with me, okay? So before I get into this tea, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join me, and then lounge at your girl on Instagram and Twitter at Lady J Lounge Room. Now, let's get into the tea. There are a few things I want to quickly discuss today. The first being... Ryan Press of Warner Chapel Music coming out with certain things to say about Cardi B because you know Cardi B recently signed a deal with Warner Chapel Music um, over this past weekend. So here's what he had to say word for word. Cardi is a defining artist of our culture, a master lyricist and showstopper performer who already racked up a deep collection of hits just after six years in the game. Her distinctive voice, fearless authenticity, and unmistakable style has elevated her into a world of her own, and I end quote. Okay, couple of things I need to unpack here because I'm not understanding. I have a question for you guys. When did Cardi B become a master lyricist? Because last time I checked, she didn't care about being lyrical, nor did she care about having bars. She said that early on when she came into the game, as Cardi has almost every writing credit on Invasion of Privacy, and she also recently admitted to that um, a week or two ago when she said she don't care about bars, that, you know, she's here to make hits. Y'all remember this video? What? You know, like, oh. let me tell you something. I came from the street club. The street <laughs> club. And now that I'm in the game and everything, and I be seeing all these mother on Twitter, like, you need to have fat. You need to have bars. You need to have this. I want to make music to turn the f up. You heard? Because when I walk to the club, that's what I want to hear. Nobody wanna hear that wanna turn up. We wanna hear that hard bass. That's what you wanna do. I wanna hear that. I wanna hear that hard I wanna hear that turn up. So I'm just confused on, you know, where the master lyricist is coming from and a deep collection of hits with one album. I don't know if I would go so far as to say that. Cardi's not what you call new, but she's not an OG either, okay? I just, I'm not really agreeing with that part, but I do agree with him saying she is fearless and un has an unmistakable style, okay? Like, if you want to sign an artist, big up her, but don't sit up there and tell stories, okay? Because master lyricist, eh, I don't know about that, okay? Y'all let me know. Do y'all think Cardi B is a master lyricist? Please drop the hardest Cardi bar in the comments, okay? Now, moving on to the next topic, I want to talk about Young Miami Rap Freaks charting at 81. It debuted at 81 on this week's um, Billboard, okay? Which shocked the mess out of me because, I mean, I thought the song was trash. It was trash, but, you know, it got streams because of the controversy that was in the song. And, you know, of course, she dropped visuals with it, which every artist does nowadays when they release a single. So, you know, I it's less than two minutes, so I really can't call it a song. But, hey, it's number 81. Young Miami, Young Miami is getting to that bag. So, are y'all here for solo Young Miami? I mean, she's obviously able to chart. It's not high, but, hey, it's charting, okay? Which is crazy to me because Megan Thee Stallion is right below her at number 82, with that song, that one song that charted off of her album, not mixtape, she refers to it as an album, something for the hotties, only one song charted on that album. And it had like, what, dang near 20 songs? So, I'm, if, <laughs> hey, look, Young Miami, she can obviously do it, okay? I, I, congrats to Young Miami. <laughs> Let me know how y'all feel about her charting. And how y'all feel about the song Rap Freaks? Do you feel it? Did you stream it? Were you a part of her getting to that 81 spot on Billboard? Let me know in the comments, okay? Now, the last topic I want to talk about is none other than the queen herself, Nicki Minaj, has went diamond with her song Super Bass, okay? Now, Super Bass came out around, you know, 2012, 2013, okay? And it's just, you know... I said 2012, 2013. <laughs> Pink Friday era, okay? Not that. Or Pink Friday era. Uh, 2011, 2012. So it's like, it's crazy because almost nobody, as far as the female rap ladies, 
have congratulated Nicki Minaj. I'm not saying they got a kiss ass, but you know, they'd be so quick to want to ask for a feature and so quick to be up into her comments with the googly eyes when she posts pictures, but you can't congratulate her publicly on a very, you know, monumental milestone in her career. That's interesting to me. I mean, Bia did, but I really, I didn't really see any other rap chicks, you know, giving her congratulations or big up. So they need to keep that same energy when they ask for a collab next time, in my opinion, because that is a very big milestone in somebody's career. Not too many artists go diamond. Okay. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Do you think, you know, they being a little shysty with the queen and how do you feel about Nikki even going down? So y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on all these topics below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, okay? And lounge at me on Instagram and Twitter at The Southern Lounge Room. Again, forgive me for this rusty, crusty, dusty voice. I will get better. I'm taking my antibiotics. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye for now, y'all.